When you look at this channel, it's creating amazing stories for kids. And according to Social Blitz, this channel is making anywhere from $2,000 to $30,000 every single month. And to prove that this channel is monetized, what you can simply do is you can copy the URL of this channel and come to Learn Most and paste the URL here. And when it finish analyzing the channel, it will tell you if the channel is monetized or not monetized. So here it says this channel is monetized. And in this tutorial, I will give you the ultimate guide on how you can create these exact story videos completely for free using only free AI tools. So the first thing that you need to do is to write a story. So there are many ways we can write the stories. We can write them ourselves. We can hire somebody to write the story for us, or we can use AI tools to write the story for us. Even if you do not have have ideas on what stories you must write about, you can simply come to ChatGPT. Once you're on ChatGPT, you can give it this prompt which says, I want to create a YouTube channel for kids' stories. Please give me the 10 most interesting story ideas I can make videos on. And you click on enter. So this is amazing. ChatGPT has gone ahead to give us the ideas that we can use to create stories for our YouTube channel. So for example, the first one says the magic treehouse adventure. A group of friends discovers a treehouse in the forest that transports them to different times and places. Each episode could be a new adventure in different era or magical land. So what we can simply do is for each of these ideas, we can ask ChatGPT to write a story for us. For example, I'll copy the first idea like this. Then I'll come to the prompt bar and I'll type in this. For this idea, which is this one I've enclosed in quotation marks, write me a kid's story with not more than 150 words. From there, click on enter. Okay, this is perfect. Now, do not click off the video yet because there is something interesting that I would love to show you. So we have this story that starts with one sunny afternoon, Maya, Jerk and Lily found an old tree house hidden deep in the forest. So the thing that I would love to show you is this is the text that has been written by AI tools. And sometimes it's very possible to tell if a story wasn't written by a human so for us to humanize our story what we can simply do is we can copy everything we'll come to this website that will help us humanize our text and bypass the ai detectives so the website is bypass.hix.ai we'll leave the link in the description so what you simply have to do when you're on this site you can simply sign up for free and from there it will land you to this dashboard so what you simply have to do from here is just paste in your text like that and scroll down to the bottom and click on this button which says humanize and your text will be humanized just like that so what i would advise you to do is read through these both text and once you are done you can click on this button which says copy once your text has been copied what we'll do from there is we'll go back to ChatGPT. so once we are on ChatGPT, this is what we'll tell ChatGPT: give me prompts that i will use to generate images for the story below so we're going to paste in our story here like that and we'll click on end okay so this is just so amazing if you're enjoying this video so far please smash the like button and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below i'd really be happy to respond to all your questions and comments so once ChatGPT has gone ahead to give us the prompt that we're going to use to generate our images and videos for our story what we simply have to do is we will come to this website that says hyper.ai this is a text to image text to video ai tool that we're going to used to create amazing 3d images that we can convert to videos using this same platform so from here all i'm asking you to do is click on where it says try for free so once you click on try for free you can sign up using your email address or your google account okay so once you're on hyper ai this is the main dashboard so there are a lot of features that it has the first one is the text to image which is quite new and the second one is the text to video and we have image to video so what we are focusing on is this new feature here which says text to image so we're going to click on it so from here what we need to do is to paste in our prompt here to describe what we want the image to look like so we'll go to chat gpt and we'll copy the first prompt we'll go back to hyper and we are going to paste in our prompt like that this is very amazing so once i paste in my prompt like that the next thing that i'll add is uh, this uh, prompt that says hyper realistic 8k ultra hd pixel star disney star cinema 4d and the aspect ratio has to be 3.2 from there we'll click on generate 
Okay, so this is just so amazing. So what we can simply do from here is we can transform this cell image into a video. So what we can simply do is if we like this image, we can hover our mouse to this button here next to the download button, which says image to video. And we can click on it and we can describe how we want our image, our video to be. And from there, we can click on create. And this is completely for free. So once your image has been transformed into a video, you can play to see how it looks. Look at that. It's just so amazing and very interesting. So from here, the other thing that you can do is if you do not like the images that it has generated for you, you can simply click on this uh, regenerate button and it will regenerate the images for you. And the good part is while it is regenerating other images for you, it does not erase the previous images, but it store them and keeps them for you in case you would want to use them for your reference. The same applies with the video. It will not delete the video for you. It will reserve that video and give you the next video that you've requested it to regenerate for you. How cool is that? Subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying this video so far. So what we simply have to do is we go back to ChatGPT, we copy the second prompt so that we keep on repeating the same process. We go back to Hyper AI and we click on here where it says image to video and we we'll select, we'll select text to image and we'll paste in our prompt like that and we'll paste in the last prompt like that. So from there, what we simply have to do is click on regenerate. We'll repeat this process over and over until we are done generating all our images and converting our images into our video. So from there, what we simply have to do is we need to generate a voice over for our story. And to do that, we're going to go to 11 labs. This is one of the best text to speech AI tools that I highly recommend. You'll find the link in the video description. So from here, what you simply have to do is come to where it says uh, speech. So while text to speech is selected, I'll go back to ChatGPT. So once we are on ChatGPT, I will copy the text that we had humanized. So you can find it on ChatGPT or you can find it on bypass.hix.ai and just copy your text and go back to 11 labs and paste your, your story there. So once you paste your text there, the next thing that you need is to choose a voice over artist. So what I would highly recommend is that you come to where it says voices here on your left. And once voices is selected, come to where it says library. And from here, select, just click on narrative and story. And from here, select a voice over artist that you're going to use for your project who is best for narrating stories. So once you find the voice over artist that you love, just click on this button that says add to my voices and give a name to your voice over and click on add. From there, just click on finish. And once you're done, go back to speech and scroll down and click on this button here and select the voiceover artist that you are chosen in the voice library. So select this one and from there we'll click on generate speech. Okay, so this is excellent. What we'll do here is we'll click on download and our audio will be downloaded. So the final thing is now blending these two things, our audio and generated images together so that we can come up with that complete outstanding video that we can upload on our YouTube storytelling channel. So the tool that we're going to use to edit our video is CapCut. So you can use any editing software that you have either on your PC or on your phone, provided we come up with a video to upload on our YouTube channel. So once we open CapCut, I will click on where it says a new project. Okay, so once the editing interface opens up, what we simply have to do is come to where it says import. And we're going to import our audio and media files that we've generated so that we can start creating that awesome story video for our YouTube channel. So to do that, there are two words. We can simply click on this button import or we can just go to our folder where we had downloaded those media files and drag them here on the media library. So what we simply have to do is we're going to edit this video in a very simple way. So the first thing that we need to do is to bring our audio into the timeline. So we're going to select our audio and we're going to drag it on the timeline like that. Okay. So once we drag our audio file on the timeline, the next thing that we need to do is to begin adding these uh, video images on top of the audio file and making sure that the video files align with the audio. So we'll start with the first video files that we had generated and we'll go to the second video file, to the third video files, up to the last video files that we've generated. And from there, we will resize them and making sure that everything aligns with the audio file. Once you finish adding in your video, 
video files on top of your audio files. So the next thing that you need to do is to begin adding in some transitions. So you can click on the transition bar. You can add in some transitions and place them between your files. Apart from that, you can come to where it says effects and you can add in some effect to your video. That's if you feel like adding in some effects. Apart from that, you can add in some caption by coming to text and clicking on where it says add auto caption and we'll select our language to be English and from there we'll click on create caption and just like that our caption have been added let's see the way they look okay this is perfect I love the way the auto generated captions look but you can add in some effect by coming to your right hand side here you'll find the font size you can increase the font size up to that much but I'll, I'll leave it to five just like that then you can also make it bold like that and underlined that's if you want it to be or you can even make it italic but i'll just i'll not underline it i'll just leave it to bold then from here you can choose the color of your font i'll leave it to white just like that so from there you can choose the character and how they are aligned so from here you can select the preset style you can choose this one which has got some uh black stroke on our text i don't like that personally i'll just leave it to uh, uh to default and from there you can scale up the position of your text i'll just leave it to where it is like that and apart from that you can also add in your own stroke effects by clicking on stroke and from there you can increase or reduce the thickness and you can also select the color of your stroke like that i will remove the stroke like that and you can make it glow and add in some shadows. That's if you want to do it. And once that is done, the last thing I would encourage you to do is to add in some background music that makes it more interesting and more entertaining. So to do that, we can come to Epidemic Sound. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can try it by yourself. So once we're here, we will come to where it says music and we'll select a specific type of music that we want. There are other recommendations that you can select from here at the bottom. This is a perfect place to get your copyright free music. So just search for story music, ah, storytelling. And from here, we can play around that these uh, sounds that have just popped up. So if you find the music that you love, you can just click on this download button here and your audio will be downloaded into your PC. So once your audio is downloaded into your PC, just drag your audio file and import it on the timeline. And once you paste in your audio like that, make sure it aligns with your script. And from there, we're going to resize our audio file like that. And once that is done, we're going to listen to it and see how much sound it has. And once that is done, we're going to click on our audio file. And on top to our right here, we can reduce the sound or the volume of our audio file like that. So let's leave it like there and let's listen to the way everything sounds like. On a bright sunny day, Mia and Jake with Lily were surprised to see an old treehouse snugged away. As they scrambled in and got comfy, the treehouse wobbled back and forth. After a while, it came to a stop. And when they looked out from behind the curtain, they gasped. It was an island full of dinosaurs. Wow. Look at that big one. Jake nodded toward a cute triceratops gnawing on some foliage. And just then they heard a booming noise. Okay, so the sound is perfect. Apart from that, you can also add in animal sounds. by just coming back to epidemic sounds and go to sound effects. And you can search for sound effects that you want for your video. And from there, drag them to CapCut and insert them there and reduce the sound so that they do not collide with your story and once that is done download your video and upload it to your youtube channel if you've enjoyed this video so far please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below i would really love to hear from you subscribe if you're new to our channel and god bless you out in the woods on a bright sunny day mia and jake with lily were surprised to see an old treehouse snugged away as they scrambled in and got comfy, the treehouse wobbled back and forth. After a while, it came to a stop. And when they looked out from behind the curtain, they gasped. It was an island full of dinosaurs. Wow, look at that big one. Jake nodded toward a cute triceratops gnawing on some foliage. And just then they heard a booming noise. A T-Rex was nearby. The friends took refuge behind a gigantic boulder, their hearts racing. 
That is where Mia saw the shiny gem in Treehouse that glimmered. Perhaps this will take us back home, she exclaimed, scampering back to the treehouse and tapping on that stone.